Well, we're getting pretty far into the teardown. I got all the pistons out over there. I think those are junk. And uh, the good thing is, I think the crank is in good shape. It spins real nice, actually. Um, despite being a little marred, you know, but that's normal, right? For an old ass engine. I don't think it's anything too bad. I don't think it's anything that a 10 thou grind uh, will not take care of. So I'm hoping that's the case. Uh, one kind of uh, interesting thing, I just took the timing chain cover off and I just, you know, and I wanna reiterate for myself and you guys watching that when you put the number one cylinder around top dead center, which is not that. So we gotta go around one more time. I'm gonna go around one more time and we're gonna look at that going down in the hole and we're gonna see that. There's the two dots lining up. So when you put it back together, you know, there is a little dimple there. It's hard to see in the dirt and the grime. But there you go. And uh, look at the look at the slop in this. <laughs> it's hanging so far down. It's starting. It's like loose on the bottom. But that's to be expected. I like these old. Uh, I don't know, timing chains like that. Uh, maybe there's something better these days, but that's kind of old school, I guess. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to take the caps off now and uh, we'll pull the crank out. Let's grab a cam, shall we? Easier said than done, I guess. There we go. Come on. Come on, little guy. Ooh. All right. Well, it's not in too bad a shape. Oh, there's that lobe, though. Oh, ho, ho. yeah. Remember that lifter? <laughs> Oh man, this thing is gone. Look at that. There's its sister lobe right there. And look at this guy. Where's my bump? I lost it. Wow. Okay. Well, that's one cam in the trash can or recycle. Recycle, you guys. Don't throw out a cam. All right, let's move on. Okay, let's... um. Take out a crank. Oops. Okay. That's not great. Definitely worn. So I'm going to keep all the bolts with all of their caps, even though I will highly likely buy a new bolt set. Okay, let's continue, if we can. Oh, why'd I knock that loose? Hang on. All right. Now, let's continue. Not too bad. Yeah. All right, and I am, num I am uh, marking all of these. Just for those of you who are like thinking, you better mark those. Okay, here's number three. Ooh. Yeah, it's kind of ugly. There's some ugly stuff going on there. Wow. That's not good. Man, I mean, I don't know who had this engine, but they were not changing the oil 
regularly. That does not look good. Woo! Oh, lost another bolt. Look at that. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's not a, co a total disaster, but man, you don't want that. But you know, it's an old engine, so. All right, let me grab that bolt. Hold on. Hold on. We got one more to go. All right, let's grab the first one. Come on. Sorry. I thought I knocked all these loose before I started. Apparently not. All right. Let's check this one. So, uh, yeah, it's a little rough. I mean, nothing uh, unexpected. All right, shall we? Shall we lift a crank out? I mean, it actually turns pretty well considering. That's, this is ugly right here. But I don't think the crank is in terrible shape. So, let me see. Let's see if I can just lift it. I can! <laughs> okay, that's heavy. I'm going to stop the video and deal with this, but... There she blows. Um... GM 14N and uh, just FYI the serial number is 3951529 yeah so my plan is to um, is to just reuse the crank and the harmonic balancer and um, obviously we'll see about honing and um, see about the cylinders as well